So are are there a particular number of sounds you use in a beat? I like this question because I was thinking about this last night. I bounced a session for a beat that I thought sounded pretty complete, and I noticed there were only 13 tracks in the session. And I thought back to how I made beats five years ago, and my sessions had probably 50, 40, 40 at minimum and maybe like 70 at maximum tracks, which was just, it's too much. And... I recently had um, Bubba got beats. I was about to say Buffa on the beat because we have to acknowledge him. We we um, we had a conversation with with Bubba got beats, and we uh, we spoke about the simplicity of his beats and what his structure was. and And his his approach was chord progression and top line, in addition to the drums. and that And that was really kind of it. So I think that's an important conversation to have. And I think um, the producer that gets the simplicity of music is a producer that is on the right path. Um, you know, most music isn't super chaotic, complex, layered, confusing, um, at least not popular music. There are all kinds of, of genres, but really focusing on a a strong loop i think is for me it's the basis of some of the greatest hip-hop beats some of the greatest pop beats some of the greatest edm beats some of the greatest dance hall beats of all time and so working on simplifying but making your simplified beats as effective at communicating something to the listener is is the goal and it's a goal that i that i try to work towards every day and it's it's actually really difficult yeah i mean some of the dope i think uh, obviously i have very limited opinion on that makes that that should hold any value in this question but like you know just as a consumer or a fan of music like some of the dopest beats are super simple um, and I don't know why that super like one particular super simple beat stands out over another. It just does. It might be the mix. It might. I don't. I don't know. But um, I, I don't think any producer. Well, maybe some do. But do producers approach it like I'm going to have a certain number of songs? I mean, a certain number of sounds in in my beat. Like I want a certain number of sounds. Or is it? How do you approach your beats, Payne? That's just, that's a better question. Like when you sit down and yeah. That's an interesting. I think you see people doing challenges like that. Like I'm going to I'm going to challenge myself to make a a full sounding beat with only three sounds. You know, something like that. Um and I think those challenges are fun. I think you can learn a lot about yourself and a lot about your process. But as far as putting a number on how many tracks you use in a particular session, if it's not based on on some experience that you had or or some challenge that you're that you're giving yourself or some kind of technological limitations then i don't necessarily see the point but the way i make beats is just i just sit down and make a beat i i honestly i sit down and make a beat and if i if i don't like it i change it if i like it i save it and then i put it out and i see what the people say because that's really the, the, the test. I put out beats that I did not like, and people love them. And I put out beats that I loved, and nobody cared. Mm. So to me, if, if my goal is to get my beats licensed, all I really need to do is make the, is structure the beat in a way that it's accessible to, to someone who's writing to it and mix it in a way where there's space for their vocals. That's, that's, that's my rule for um, making beats to, to sell online. 